I learned about cutting my asshole really, I was, I was about five years old. My mother died with cancer and we were told that we were going to another another place and my father brought us here at County Maxwell Children's Home in 1951. There was five brothers and one nephew. County Maxwell is a, is a wonderful place to grow up in. I uh, never heard profanity here at County Maxwell Children's Home from any staff, never smelled alcohol in anybody's breath. It was truly was a, was a wonderful environment to, to, uh, to grow up in, caring people. I'm the director of enrichment and, and um, what I do here is that I place all the young people when they come 13 and above, I find a location for them somewhere on campus to work. Um, we we push, place a lot of value in our work program. Uh, the children make some money for that, but most of them want to be on uh, work sets and get out of the cottages. And the next thing I do, I plan all the activities for our young people in, in the activities building. The vision of County Maxwell is to try to, to win every soul here at County Maxwell, each child, to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If when they do that, they, they, that's a big eye-opening experience for them, to know that, there's a, um, that, that Christ loves them. Well, I'd like to share with you that, that for 47 years I taught Sunday school here at County Maxwell. And I truly enjoyed that, loved that, loved being around the young people. We have Sunday school, we have a lot of um, mission studies, we have a lot of Bible studies, we, um, the um, mission trips that the young people can go on. We have a lot of tour groups that come to County Maxwell to share the word of Jesus Christ. Uh, there's a lot of uh, devotions in the cottages that uh, go on on a daily basis. So the children here at County Maxwell are exposed to Jesus Christ on a regular basis. Discipleship means that uh, that spreading the, the gospel uh, not only here at County Maxwell but in our community and around the world through the scriptures and through the teachings of our on a daily basis, the, um, the cottage mothers uh, working with them, the work supervisors, the team leaders, the social workers, uh, everybody on campus as a whole it spends a lot of time working with our young people, uh, teaching them about the Word of Christ. A lot of them come from broken homes, alcohol, physical abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse. If you can think of a reason, we've probably got a child here for that reason. L listening to some of the stories that, uh, that uh, we have, it literally breaks your heart and wonder how some people can do that to a child. The main campus is here in Greenwood. You have the Marie Yance home, you have the Malden group home, you have the PD home, and you have the Chesterfield home. All of our young people here at County Mice will go to the public schools here in town. My wife, Sue Sheriff, is the, is the Director of uh, uh, Education here at County Maxwell. She serves as the parent to the children in each one of the schools. Through uh, contacting our volunteer coordinator, uh, that's the first step is calling her and ask what they can do to get involved. But we have a lot of volunteer groups, probably in the thousands over this past year, that, uh, that come to County Maxwell to volunteer in different, uh, different roles. It doesn't matter what kind of skills people have, we can use those, uh, those skills here at County Maxwell and helping us. Oh, the kids love the farm. Everybody at County Mites will come. They want to work on the farm. We, we've got a lot of places that the young people can work. They can work on the grounds, cutting grass. They can work on the farm. They can work in the cottages. They can work uh, in the activities building, work at the food center. So we find a location for every student on campus to, to work. And they have an opportunity every six months to ask to change work sets to have another opportunity somewhere else. Oh, man, I, the kids love the horses. Everybody wants to be over there riding the horses. And, we take our children over there, the younger students, at least two or three, four times a year, and we do the older kids, and we have an equestrian uh, work set over there with girls and boys that ride horses on a pretty regular basis. Prayer support, we do a lot of that here at County Mice. We've, we've got a prayer garden that's just been developed in the last several years where we, uh, the, the children can go and staff can go and sit and press the tight, tallest point here at County Mice, the highest ground. That's where that prayer garden was, was, uh, was built. Um, and prayer support is, is great with people coming in and, and, and praying for us and letting us pray for them. I've fallen in love with it. I grew up in it. I fell in love with it when I was a child. And I'm probably one of the luckiest people in the world to have the opportunity to come back, to give back what was given to me many years ago. I, I would just like to say how good, how great the Lord has been to me, my family. I, my family and I grew up, my wife and I grew up here at County Maxwell. And we raised a family here at County Maxwell. Great environment to live, great environment to work. You're around Christian people on a daily basis. It's truly a remarkable place to work.
I went and tried it for nothing. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call. 888-641-8606 or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.